When I was a child, my mom always told me, Angel, when you were born, all the angels came from heaven. Do you know why? Because you're special. On June 16, 2018, I launched my show, Have Faith, Let It Begin. I always wanted to change the world, share my personal testimony, share real life stories and motivational topics to set out to go out and change the world. Join me each and every week, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. Today is January 17th, 2019 and it is Thursday. Happy Thursday. Folks, we continue to move forward into this, um, I'm going to call it a maybe two or three part series regarding battling storms. Um, after uh, yesterday's episode, many of you wrote to me uh, individually uh, describing that uh, you too are battling storms um, and that everyone continues to battle these storms um, as if it was back to back to back. I can relate. As many of you already know, as I drive into work with all of you, um, my brother's in the hospital and, um, I, you know, I, I was recently hospitalized and, you know, in the last nine months, I've literally watched my father hospitalized, myself, my brother, the birth of my, um, of my, uh, my daughter, um, another sibling of mine dealing with situations of their own. I mean, it, it, it feels like it's just not stopping. But one of the things that I hold true to form, and that is my faith. I believe that things happen for a reason. And like I've always said, you can't explain it, you can't predict it, but you can believe that there is a reason for it. It's not a punishment, but it's something that need, needs to be addressed, whether it's in prayer, whether it's with our actions, our words. And I believe that we will overcome this yet again. Each and every day we go to work and we're battling smaller storms. You know, these storms don't have to be huge. What is considered a storm to me may be a tropical storm to you. But by all means, we're not trying to compare storms. We're not trying to sit back and say, my storm is bigger than yours. A storm is a storm. One of the things that I thought was interesting is I was working uh, today with one of my colleagues where her last day uh, will officially be today. And uh, she's moving up, uh, moving up in the sense of not a promotion, but it, uh, within our, our uh, unit, but more of a promotion within her life, with, within her change of life. So I'm excited for her because here is a mother of two children doing all that she can to better herself and the time has come she's now where she needs to be she's putting herself first and when I say herself first not ex excluding her family she's putting herself meaning her family first and um, I wish her nothing but the very best I know she's going to succeed I know that today we have a friend of ours named Ashley, who's going in for an interview, and I can't think of any other positive thing or positive spin I can put other than we wish you the very best of luck, Ashley. We know that even if, God forbid, this is not the position that you seek and that things don't go in the, in the direction that maybe you want it to, that doesn't mean that there's not one right around the corner. God has a plan for you. God has always had a plan for you. And slowly but surely, you're watching it come to light. There are so many people that have come into my life recently that continue to shed new hope, new structure, a new way of life, and change. For, many, uh, for a couple of months now, I put a GoFundMe page up for my friend Brian. And it hasn't done as well as we'd like it to, but he's not upset, nor am I, because there are many people battling storms. 
And a lot of people may not be able to give, but the one thing that they are giving is something well worth more than any a dollar or price you can put on, and that's prayer. So, Brian, we wish you continued luck. I wish you luck. I'm proud of you each and every day, and I know that you will overcome this storm. Every day I pray for individuals that constantly are dealing with different type of medical conditions. They are battling health conditions, some that they're way out of their control. Their faith continues to grow. Their faith continues to get stronger. And as they get wiser and as they get stronger with their faith, their relationships with their families continue to blossom. The church that I belong to continues to have opportunity. To con- it continues to shed some new light, some new hope, some growth. Many churches along my area in particular are suffering for many different reasons. Some are having difficulty with attendance. And when I say attendance, it's not about money. It's not about offering. It's more about people are just not wanting or seeking God as much as they used to. And you know what? It happens. And that is okay. And when I say that, most people would look at me and say, why would you say that's okay? Well, I'm going to tell you why. As I'm taking a break real quick, I have to go to an ATM. So I'm going to put pause for just a second. And I'll continue that thought in just a second. Hi, I am Mia. You're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. My, you wouldn't believe this. I have to actually edit for the first time because I had to go to the ATM. And I'll get back to what I was talking about with the church attendance. I went to the ATM and a funny thing just actually happened. Uh, I had trouble getting into the ATM. It's one of the ones where you put your card in. Um, it kept saying that it was a green light to open the door. So I op- tried to open the door and the, the light wouldn't turn. So I'm, I'm like, okay. So I, you know, I took my time. It took me about a good six, seven minutes just to get the door open. So, you know, you get inside. Now I go to the ATM to make a deposit and the ATM wouldn't take my cash and there were brand new bills Um, because I got them from another bank. So I'm like, okay, it's not a big deal. You know, I've seen this before where the money doesn't, you know, it's too either too new, too crisp that, you know, it's, it's giving me a little bit of trouble. No big deal. No harm, no foul. Well, all of a sudden that took an extra few minutes because it wouldn't take the uh, the bills. So now I'm like, okay, what do I do here? I got to make sure I got money in the account. And finally, the money goes in and um, I, I complete my transaction and now the door is locked. I can't get out of the ATM. So I'm literally stuck in the ATM. So I had to wait for somebody to come in uh, and slide their card so I can get out of the ATM. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I had to break real quick and tell you that story because it just happened to me and there's no way I was going to remember that come the next day or whatever. Okay, so listen, all I can say is things happen, right? <laughs> all right, so back to what I was talking about. You know, a lot of the churches in our area are, you know, they have they have attendance issues. They have um, people that are not just you know, attending church. And you know what? I don't want to sit here and tell you everyone out there that you have to go to church. Like I've been saying, I don't want to preach to any of you. Um, Idealistically, I would love to see more people in church, but I can't make you do something you don't want to do. Um, All I can say is with everything that's been going on in the world, with everything that's going on with all these storms and particularly the one people, the people that have been writing to me, and reminding me about all the storms that they're battling and they're facing. Um, it's Maybe it's a good idea that you attend. Maybe it's a good idea that you say a couple prayers, you know. Um, it's definitely something that has been hitting home to me 
um, ever since I've just opened my eyes and said, wow, I can't believe how much, how many storms we're battling here as family. One thing is for sure, this show will not stop. The show will constantly keep giving you episodes, and as I get closer and closer to work, and I'm sure all of you are too, um, rest assured, I'm praying for each and every one of you. Now, I don't know you all by name, but I know that all of you listen, and I thank you for that. Um, And I pray that your day goes better each and every day. I pray that you seek and find what you're looking for and find what you seek. And I just hope that each and every one of you receive the blessings that I know God has has in store for you. And that's all I wanted to say today on this Thursday. Let's all get to work. Let's all have a a good day and, you know, count down that Friday is 24 hours away. For half faith, let it begin. My name is Angel. Half faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. You're going to hear episodes of me recording live as my daughter in the background, Ariel, will probably cry. You'll hear background noises like phone calls and right on the cue, she's starting to cry. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to continue on like never before. And with Ariel in the background, knowing that the future, you're going to hear yourself crying like this, mama. Yeah. Say hi to everybody out there. We just want to encourage each and every one of you to join us every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Join me, Ariel, my family, and everyone as we continue our journey. For Half Faith, Let It Begin, my name is Angel. Say goodbye, Ariel. Say bye. And bye.